Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we have a special sponsored build for you. This is all AMD and Corsair components, so it's gonna be very high-end and very cool. Special thanks to AMD and Corsair for being the sponsor of this PC build. We're gonna be putting together a Ryzen 5 3600 and 5600XT build, talking a little bit about Corsair and all the things that they offer, and AMD and the awesome value parts that they have on the market. Now, let's go ahead and talk about each individual part, how it makes up this PC build, and talk a little bit more about today's sponsors. So one of the cool parts about this build is the total budget is between $1,200 and $1,300 depending on when you get everything. So although it's high end, it doesn't really break the bank, which is really awesome. So the processor for this build is a Ryzen 5 3600. It's a third gen Ryzen processor, so that means it has better cache, it has better DDR4 overclockability, which you know we love to overclock our RAM. And we actually have a liquid cooler that I'll talk about in just a second to go with the six core 12 thread. So, so we think we're actually gonna venture out and do some overclocking because well, we have not overclocked clocked your Ryzen processor like in a long time because Ryzen is just so good but we're like hey big liquid cooler we might as well do it and for the cooler this is the IQH100i RGB Pro XT now keep in mind the 3600 comes with a cooler okay and it works perfectly fine it's a really good cooler but we wanted to be able to actually do some overclocking and honestly just aesthetically please this build and make it really quiet so this Corsair 240 millimeter cooler is definitely going to help us do that now for the motherboard, we have the MSI B550A Pro. This is a full-size motherboard, and also you gotta remember it's B550, which means it has Gen 4 Ryzen support and also Gen 4 SSD support, which for the first time ever, we are finally doing a build with Gen 4 SSD. And so at the time of filming, and of course, probably when this gets released, Gen 4 is actually Gen 5 or whatever, whatever you want to call it with AMD is technically not out yet. So we are doing this 3600 build with the B550 in hopes that once Fortune's out, we can just bloop, plop this in there and we're good to go. And for RAM, we have Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 that's 3600 megahertz and it's 16 gigs dual channel so it's two by eight and also for the first time ever once again we're just having all these first where did the picture go right here it's at the front we actually have a cooler that came with it we have never used a ram cooler so this is gonna be like really weird for us but it makes it to where you can basically overclock your ram to 3600 maybe even higher if you want to venture out and do it safely and not have to worry about the ram getting hot because the number one killer of components and the number one you know throttle is thermal throttling so we don't want any of that so a cooler to go with it and speaking of Gen 4 support, this is the MP600. This is a one terabyte NVMe PCIe Gen 4 SSD. For most people, this is overkill, but we wanted to showcase the Gen 4 support that comes with Ryzen 3000 series and future generations. You get awesome read and write speed. So if you're a content creator, this is a great resource for being able to pull footage, especially if recording like stuff that we have, 4K footage, super fast transfer speeds. And one terabytes of storage is a pretty good starting point and you can always upgrade in the future. And well, it will definitely fit war zones. So that's a plus. And now from AMD, we have the Radeon RX 5600 XT, which is their great budget-friendly card. Now, yes, it is a little bit more expensive than quote-unquote budget-friendly card, but for the money, you're getting really awesome performance to play at 1080p, high refresh rate, or even some for games at 1440p if you want to. Really awesome offering here. This is the Sapphire Pulse version. So we've used these in a ton of PC builds, and it comes with a lot of the new baked-in features that we'll talk more about during the benchmarking section of today's video. But this car right here with its six gigs of VRAM, makes a really good option and it's PCI Gen 4 ready. And now for power supply, we have the Corsair RM550X, which is a fully modular power supply from Corsair, 550 watts, 80 plus gold, so you get that awesome efficiency baked in, and also the ability to make sure your build looks really nice. Corsair has some really high-end power supplies, along with all their other components out there, and this is, well, a really good option for this build. 550 watts is definitely more than enough for a PC build like this, and does give you a little bit of wiggle room to upgrade in the future. And lastly, but certainly not least, this is the Corsair 4000D Airflow. Comes with tempered glass, nice support for this uh, radiator that we're gonna be putting in here for the CPU cooler, and also, well, airflow. It has the nice mesh front so you can get some nice airflow for components like this. Corsair makes some really awesome cases to keep your components nice and cool, which again, is very important to make sure it lasts nice and long. Um, but yeah, this is a really awesome case. We're probably gonna slap it in an RGB strip also because we like to add some lights to our PC builds that are a little bit extra compared to and stuff that's already on like the motherboard and CPU cooler. But uh, yeah, very excited to build in this case. How about we not waste any more time and put this awesome PC build together?
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have this gaming PC all put together, let's talk about some benchmarks real quick, shall we? Now, this PC performed like we expected. In games like Warzone, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Valorant, and Fortnite, this thing had no problems playing games on max settings at 1080p, and in some cases, get well over 100 plus FPS. First up, in a game like Warzone, we start to see how powerful the 5600 XT is. Getting over 100 FPS on a mixture of medium-high settings at 1080p, we were easily able to get a ton of kills playing Warzone. This is a game that a lot of people are switching to PC for, so this combo would be a really good option. The 5600 XT being based on the 7 nanometer process node is one of the best value 1080p gaming cards on the market, and it is a great option for those who want to play mainstream esports titles and also AAA titles. A few of the bonus features that come with the 5600 XT are things like Radeon Anti-Lag, which reduces input latency to improve your gaming experience, Radeon Boost, which delivers higher frame rates by reducing rendering resolution during fast motion gaming scenarios with little perceived impact on quality, and there's also Radeon Chill, which is a gameplay adaptive power saving feature that helps regulate and cap frame rates to specific ranges to save on power when it's not needed. If you want to learn more about the features that come with the 5600 XT other than its great performance, be sure to check the links in the description down below to learn more. Now, a good example of a AAA title that we like to test is Shadow the Tomb Raider, and on 1080p high settings, we got well over 60 FPS, which is what you expect from a PC at this price point. Again, the 5600 XT and 3600 make for a great combo here. And in games like Valorant and Fortnite, which are esports titles, you have no problems getting close to the 200 FPS mark, making them candidates for potentially 240Hz monitors if you do lower some settings. Fortnite, we always run on pro settings, which is a mixture of epic view distance, everything else on low and we were getting over 200 fps here and there and in valorant we had no problem staying over 200 fps most of the time on higher settings if you did lower the settings you could most certainly get an even better experience but this pc as is is great for pretty much any game you want to throw at it and considering that amd hardware and corsair components go into this pc build you know you're going to get really awesome performance and long-term reliability with some really high quality parts so we highly suggest you consider this for your next gaming pc by checking the links in the description down below and be sure to look at all the parts suggested because I think this is a pretty balanced build for the money. So now that we finished the benchmarking section of today's video, how about we go ahead and bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. Okay, so as you guys could see, this PC performed about like you thought it would, really good in pretty much every game we threw at it. We actually did overclock the 3600 and of course the RAM as well, and the temperatures were super cool the whole time. This Corsair case and air cooler and all Corsair components make for a really awesome high-end gaming PC. Of course, if you do wanna save a little bit of money, Corsair does offer some budget options as well, and you could opt for the stock cooler if you want to. But since this is a sponsored showcase of Corsair's products and an AMB sponsored showcase of the Ryzen 5, 3600 and 5600 XT. This is what we ended up with and we're actually pretty happy with how it turned out. So just like always, if you guys want to buy any of this stuff, the description down below is our affiliate links and they do help us out. And also it helps out Corsair and AMD if you want to get any of this. Also don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Adios. What's the next one? There's the next one.